here we go. You guys can see what we have here is that uh, giant Ant-Man build. Yep, there's the sticker sheet, which is basically in mint condition, I do believe. That's what I was told at least. Yep, the stickers look incredible. They are not uh, placed onto the set. This is a print piece right here. Let's go ahead and get this box out of the way. We'll go ahead and take a closer look at this figure here. You can see there's open studs on the back of this thing. Open studs here underneath the arms, and the torso is actually not uh, technically a rectangle build. It's kind of uh, got these little wing pieces here. I do plan on customizing this, so that's kind of what we're doing here on this video. Just wanted to show you guys the original build and what it looks like. I believe it's about three times the size of a minifigure. I do have a Spider-Man minifigure right here. Go ahead, place right there, and then it goes up from about right here, and then it goes up from about here. Maybe three and a half, yeah, three, three and a half times the size of a regular Lego minifigure. So it's not quite as big as I want the Giant Man to be for scenes in the Lego cities. So I'm gonna work on making this Giant Ant-Man build a little bit larger. We are kind of restricted to uh, size constraints because of this piece right here. It is a print, like I said, there's no sticker. I can't even attempt to pull that off perfectly or anything like that. So that's kind of a restraint for the size of the build that we can do based on the helmet piece right here, which I think maybe we can increase just a little bit and still make it look good uh, and also get a little more height out of this figure here. All right, here you guys can see the modified giant Ant-Man build that we've done. I wanted to include some printed tile pieces onto this as well. And then we do have some inverted tiles on the back. I did go ahead and use round, just regular plates here, two by two plates to kind of represent the minifigure here. So that uh, just in case, let me see, I got yeah, some decent parts here. Just in case we do have like some terrain or something sticking up, I can actually sit this minifigure on that in the city or something. So just in case, I'm sure it won't be something that we ever use, but it's still something that looks a little bit more accurate to me. I don't have any inverted red tiles or else I would probably try and work some kind of design in here on the back. I did go ahead and use some of these lighter gray ones to kind of represent that silver element that is on Ant-Man's back. We actually increased the size of this thing by almost four bricks. I believe it was three bricks and two plates. Uh, we did a little bit, I think I did two plates in the head. I added a neck to the minifigure, added some shoulders onto the torso, added a plate throughout the torso, and then actually added two bricks worth of height for the legs. Because really a regular minifigure, the original figure didn't have proportionate torso to legs, uh, the sizes, and a regular minifigure, the torso to leg uh, proportions are actually pretty accurate so they're pretty equal so I actually wanted to increase the size of the legs here and now you can see all three of the Ant-Man scales we have the micro figure scale we have the mini figure scale and then we have this giant figure scale as well wanted to show you this before I did go ahead and add the stickers on it because it's going to change it a lot under the arm you can see we added some inverts as well so that we just have a lot more smooth area to this mini figure right here is kind of one of the areas that I like the most but I wish I could do it just a little bit better with uh, creating a shoulder here without um, actually building in that area there leaving a joint and still um, having a bunch of brick cover that area so just a little gap there but it's about the best we could do let me know what you guys think of the improvements to this giant ant-man build here all right now you guys can see the completed project with all the stickers in there I was a little bit worried about uh, this extension right here, these are the two bricks that we added to the legs. I do think it looks more accurate, but uh, the sticker was only for a 2x2, two two, so I was worried about that. We don't have that decal for down here, but again, we could do some tile work with that and maybe change that up. I'm not sure, uh, but uh, it does look pretty good the way that it does. I like the belt. I think that's really cool, and honestly, for what we've got on the back, it's really not that big of a deal. would be pretty decent if we did have some light gray. Maybe it does match a little bit better with... Uh, this sticker right here in the front and again if I can get some inverted tiles it would look nice uh, to do some patterns back here with red black and of course that light gray uh, but let me know what you guys think I love this little piece right here I had to get that in it's got the red and the blue as well as that dial right there which just reminds me of Ant-Man using the pen particles to grow big and grow small with the red and blue and then we did just add that uh, printed tile right there which basically just represents some kind of uh, just computer function or something like that. Well, we're officially done with this mod of the Giant Ant-Man build. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. See more great LEGO Marvel content coming real soon. I appreciate it. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.